Good morning, folks. It appears we have filaments returning to the earth-facing side of the sun. You see multiple ropes slinking in down here. And, indeed, you see some twisting over the northeastern limb as well. None of the filaments shown will face earth today. Solar flaring is on the floor, barely getting into sea range now, but we can't blame the sunspots. Despite there being only one complex grouping, it has grown tremendously from a few days ago to become a Delta-class sunspot. Right in the middle, we've got blue and red mixing about in close proximity, top flare contender today. The last few hours have seen a slight uptick in intensity for the solar wind. We are at the beginning of this deviation and thus far there are no significant magnetic effects. Two things to see with the coronal fields. First, how the red negative coronal hole is pinched between the fields. And second, that the next one, green positive, is seen coming in on the north. In 211 angstroms, you can see that the open south is dark and showing, but as you head north, the coronal hole visibility wanes. That's because the coronal magnetic fields are blocking. Still a relevant quake factor though, and you can see the next one coming in top left. The significant quakes continued yesterday. Happy New Year, California. If you know about quakes, a 5 magnitude on the west coast is more rare and significant than a 6 magnitude earthquake around the rest of the Ring of Fire. Oh, and uh, let's make it a double. Uptick continues. We're also seeing upticks in the eastern Mediterranean beneath a couple of low-pressure systems and on the Carlsberg Ridge in the North Indian Ocean. Also saw the Arctic Circle get involved way up north of Siberia. Top link today... It's a meteor caught on dash cams in the northeast U.S. Over 300 sightings reports came in. Fireball lasted quite a while and was visible for hundreds of miles in every direction. Just a reminder, Mobile Observatory comes to the ABQ tomorrow. Details at observatoryproject.com. And if you didn't catch our starting 2015 video yesterday afternoon, it details the changes coming to the website and the channel. The link is right below this YouTube video. As always, we're on to the weather. Cold records kept falling the last 24 hours. Los Angeles, Tucson with the coldest daytime temperature record. They're even getting in the mix across the pond as well in Bulgaria. Focus here are the lows. One north central and the other to the south, but more importantly is the clash of air flows through the center. They'll converge in the center of that alley tonight and make for some very rough weather. Freezing rain then snow. Got heavy snow to the northern low as well. Europe. That is one major wind drive. This is as strong as they get in this part of the world, and it will be bringing the weather concerns this evening. South enjoying a little break there. Convergences are elusive down under, but the precipitable water overlay tells us what we need to know. Like a glove. Storm threats where the hotter air and moisture come ashore. We've got your current conditions and some shots of our star to close. 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.05 a.m. Mountain. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.